sin'a, hatred. Why hating is bad? Should I hate? Should I be able to hate? The answer is absolutely no. Absolutely no. The reason is when you hate somebody, you actually causing him, uh, you causing him harm. You're harming someone. And yourself, of course. In Masechet Avot, it says, Sinat habriot motzia et adam min haolam. There are many uh, qualities in which will cause a person to lose its place. One of the things is hatred, hating people. That people will hate everything. They were born to hate everything. Hate, 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 hate. These are usually the negative people. They hate the government, they hate the this, they hate the, everything they hate. Something like this will cause you lose your place among people, lose this place in this world, and without a dash in Olam Abba. And a person who does that, especially when he comes to a Jew hating a Jew, who, Ke'ilu, it is like Sonela Kadosh Baruch Hu. You're hating Kadosh Baruch Hu. You're hating God. He hates him. And he hates God because he created him or he created this person. We are all banim Hashem. We are all children of Hashem. And a person like this that hates Sonele Avraham, Mitzchak, and Yaakov. You also hate hate our patriarch Avraham, Mitzchak, and Yaakov. She yatsa zem yihem yikimanodem. You hate them. All the neshamot depended and clinch on to the Kadosh Baruch Hu. They are connected to Hashem. Even that person that you hate, he's connected to Hashem. And Hashem takes pride sometimes in this action that this individual does. Whatever those actions are, you're not God. It's not your, jo- your job to judge who is more and who is that? Who is less? You don't know what this particular individual that you hate does that Kadosh Baruch Hu loves. How can you hate him? If, 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 for example, a person say, oh, I hate my finger, or I hate your finger, you hate your finger, where's your finger connected to? The finger is you, everything is you. You can't hate it. Chazal says in Masechet Yoma, Bait Sheni, the second temple, are you both tzaddikim or righteous people there? Are you chachamim, they were great sages of Torah? Gdolim meod, they were great, great sages. Venechrav, and it was destroyed. Ela ba'avon sinat china, because of hatred, and especially hatred for no reason. Velo nitarach haketz, velo ne'elam ela sibat china. And the end of time, the redemption, is being delayed, is being postponed because we keep on infected with this hatred that we hate people. For no reason. And even if there is a reason, it's not good to hate. Veload, and not that only. When you do an avera, you only violate the avera when you're violating the avera. But when you hate someone, and you hate him always in your heart, you are always over, you're always violating this Avera all the time. And what's the Avera? Ve'ahavta l'reacha kamocha. We already said previously, ve'ahavta l'reacha kamocha, klal gadol batorah. It's a great concept in Torah, in doing the mitzvot, to love ve'ahavta l'reacha kamocha. You need to realize that we all brothers. How could you hate? When you violate, when you hate someone, you are violating that concept that the whole entire Torah is dependent on. So how can you hate someone? 
you might not like what he does. You know, I might like the way he looks or the way he smells. Well, yeah, that's okay. I don't, you don't have to like everything. But to hate, that's already a big, that's, that's a big word. Hate is a big thing. And it says, "Velo zacham Moshe lechol maalotav." And Moshe was able. Moshe Rabbeinu was able. Moses was able to reach his great level. And Lashaya ohev li Yisrael u'mitzta'er b'tzaratam. He cared about his Jews. He cared about the people. He felt the pain and he loved them. Moshe Amru Chazal, as Chazal says, "Vayar b'sivlotam." And he saw their suffering. And it says over there also in Shmod Vatayim Tisach Atatam Ve'enani Ve'im En Machen. He said. He says. Listen. We learned it last week. Last week, right? Moshe Rabbeinu's name was not mentioned, right? He says, "Don't don't write me in this book," which is terrific. Don't write me in this book. By the way, last week, I mean, when we read this, was also Moshe Rabbeinu's yard side, Zion Be'adav. So Moshe Rabbeinu doesn't care about himself. He says, I can't take my people so don't, don't, don't hurt me. If he comes down to that, do me a favor, take me off the book. I don't want to be here. Again, Moshe Rabbeinu is the ultimate leader. Moshe Rabbeinu realized what we always fail. It is not about you. It's about what you need to do. There are greater things than you. At a certain point, it stops being about you. It's about what you need to do for others or what you hand over, what you leave behind you. And it's something that we always, always fail. And it says, That's why Moshe Rabbeinu, his value was like a whole entire nation. His value was equal to all the people of Israel. Why? And he remembered the world of Moshe, it says in Yeshaya. Hatred is a wonderful, wonderful concept for those who want to destroy themselves and destroy the world. To us, is a taboo. And I told you this beforehand. There is no mitzvah in the Torah that we are commanded to hate. Can't hate. Even it says, Mechiyat Zecher Amalek, erase the memory of Amalek, erase, there are many ways of erasing. You can uh, make them uh, convert, you can do many things to erase the memory. We all explain Amalek's effect, the whole entire thing, we explain that. But to hate is something. Hatred, the Kadosh Baruch Hu said, it says, it says over there, the Midrash says, Elohim shall elu sonez zima. The Kadosh Baruch Hu hates uh, inappropriate, uh, uh, you know, pornography. Let's put this with pornography. So you're going to say, well, if God hates, I can hate. No, no, he can hate. You cannot. What does it mean? For example, a kid will come to you and say, hey, pops, you're having two drinks. I'm going to have two. So no, you can't have it. You can't even handle a quarter of a drink. No, I can't handle two. You cannot handle the reason is very simple. Hate is destructive. Hate is destructive. You hate today your enemy, you'll hate tomorrow your brother. You have a feeling. You're feeling that you hate someone. Very nice notes you pass in there. You hate today someone. So you have a feeling. So what should I do with it? I feel like, you know, I hate this guy. I hate him. So one second, what am I going to do? I'm going to tell you, oh, don't hate him, love him. I, I, I can't. I hate this guy. I hate him. I hate his guts. All right, let's take this feeling now. Let's take this raw energy that is inside of you. And let's try to tame it and bring it to a more productive thing. So now you realize there's a certain energy inside of it. Let's try to bring it to something else. <coughs> bring it to something else. Channel it to something more productive. It's like taking a nuclear reactor. You can make electricity out of it, or you could pollute the whole entire, look at Chernobyl, look at the Fukushima. It's there. The feeling is there. You can't disregard it. The problem is, how are we going to make it work for us? So if you happen to find yourself hating someone, 
stop at that point, that will be the first exercise. Stop at that point and try to express yourself, first of all, verbally in a different things. It's the same thing like you would tell a kid. You would tell the kid, you are a bad boy. He's not a bad boy. That behavior was bad. He's not a bad boy. Because if you told the kid, you are a bad boy or you are, you're lazy, he would say, okay, thank you very much. You not just gave me a definition. I am a bad boy. From this point on, I guess that's what, let me, let me look at Wikipedia, what bad boys do. And that's how I'll be, a, you know, you title me a bad boy. You can tell a kid, you're such a good boy, but this behavior is bad. In other words, you, you changing your perspective. You don't put in the thing on the person. You're just separating the person from their behavior. So here too, let's try to find someone a different way. I hate this person. You hate this person? All right. What will happen if this person now, the, the person that you hate, will come and say, hey, buddy, I see you suffering a little bit. Come, let me get you for lunch. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. You know, I'll buy you a car. You're going to hate him more. It says, you know what? I really cannot stand this behavior. I don't hate him as a person because a person is a person. I don't like his behavior. I can't stand his behavior. I, I can't tolerate the way he interacts or talks to people. But the person is more than just a behavior. A person is it itself. And that, you cannot tell me that you hate that person. And I'll tell you why. Because you don't know who this person is. You barely know who you are. You want to tell me you know what the person is? How could you? You don't even get to know yourself. The person is just their behavior you don't like. This kind of, uh, of interaction you hate. Okay, so you hate that interaction, but you don't hate the person. Remove this hatred from you. you want to, at the bottom line, you're going to hate a Kadosh Baruch You're getting used to it. You're very easy with hatred. With the words, I hate this, and I hate, ooh, I know, I hate broccoli. I like broccoli, but let's say for example, I hate Brussels sprout, which I like too. But never mind, you know, you know, find something, okay? I hate that. Let me ask you a question. If you were in some kind of a, in a camp, prison camp, POW camp, I don't know, whatever, you were starving for a week, you were stranded up in the Appalachians, you know, in a snowstorm, there's nothing for you to eat, and the only thing to have you have to eat is chopped liver. You gonna tell me you hate it? You gonna tell you, excuse me, you're hungry. How long you haven't eaten? Oh, it's a week. Okay, listen, I'm sorry. You only have chop. I only have chopped liver. You don't have chopped. I don't care. It'd be the best thing in the world. So don't hate it. Don't use the word hate. Don't be so liberal with yourself, allowing yourself to hate. To hate. You are not that important. That you are the level of God that you're allowed to say, I hate this. I hate that. Find room in your heart to love. Find room in your heart to care. You want to elevate yourself spiritually? You cannot hate. You want to elevate yourself spiritually? Start caring. Start loving. Love and caring. That will be a, a minimum required to begin on the spiritual journey. If you're a person that hates, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. You, just, you know, you should go to a different school, I don't know, go to the school of hatred, go somewhere else, go become a, I don't know, Mujahideen. We cannot hate. We are so, should be aware of this, even if we have an enemy combatant which is injured, he just, halakhically, you're not allowed to hate him, you need to help him. Right now he doesn't face a threat to you, now you need to help him. can hate. You have to find this in your heart. You have to find this room in your heart to love and to care. Never hate. Never hate. Ezat Hashem HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yassir Meitanu Sinat Chinam Not only Sinat Chinam Yassir Meitanu Sinat Bichlal Remove hatred from our hearts and will help us open our heart Le'ahava, Le'ira, Et Shemo Amen, Ken Yiratzon Amen